Yes, people, welcome to Footy Fans TV. I hope everyone's doing well and you're having a great Saturday. As always, we're going to take you through a very quick roundup of all the football news, so let's go. First up, let's talk about Jesus of Manchester City. Had some pretty disappointing news. He's been injured, so he's going to be out for at least a month is what we're hearing. He's been pulled out of the Brazil squad for the qualifiers, so we'll have to keep an eye on that one. But at the moment, it doesn't look very good. City have already lost Sergio Aguero, who will be out to the middle of October. They can't really afford to lose many more players in those strikes in positions. Pep Guardiola only has 13 fit first team players to choose from so it may start to become a problem. He has however said that he's not going to go in for any strikers in this window. Next up and sticking in the Premier League, Arsenal fans should be very excited so last night the first official bid went in for Hasim Aoud of Olympic Lyonnais. It has been rejected so not all good news but it was only the first bid. The player has already agreed personal terms with Arsenal Football Club. This was agreed a while ago. All that remains at the moment is to agree a transfer fee between the two clubs. Now, Lyon are notorious for being very, very difficult to negotiate with. They did the same thing with Lacazette and Arsenal caved in the end. So keep an eye on that one. There'll be updates up until the transfer window closes, but it's anybody's guess at this point whether he does end up joining or not. Another story that we reported to you on was the potential for Jorginho of Chelsea to move to Arsenal Football club if they can't get Thomas Partey they want somebody else in that holding midfield role now it should be noted that he was left out of the Chelsea squad for today's game which is a little bit unusual because normally he does start for them but could be anything people will always speculate we do understand that Frank Lampard does still want to go back in for Declan Rice and if Declan Rice comes in you have to assume that Jorginho is surplus to requirements at that point as always, we'll keep you posted on that one as well. Still sticking in the Premier League and the Manchester United game. So that was crazy. Brighton, Manchester United. There was a penalty by Neil Mope. He's chipped the ball over David De Gea, completely embarrassed him. But then right at the end of the game, even after the game had finished, the final whistle had gone and the referee bought it back and gave Manchester United a penalty for a Neil Mope handball in the box. Now, if you check the rules, I had to check up on this myself. By the laws of the game, you can bring it back if a penalty needs to be retaken, even if the half has finished. So whether it's the first half or the second half. United obviously scored that. They won the game 3-2. So Brighton fans, I'm sure, are super annoyed. But it is what it is. Super disappointing. Have to move on. Brighton picked themselves up. I think they've got a lot of things to be positive about. Switching gears slightly and moving to La Liga, it's said that Barcelona are in for Edin Dzeko. I find that one a little bit bizarre to be honest because they've let Suarez go to Atletico Madrid, one of their biggest rivals, and they're going to bring in Dzeko, who isn't as good as Suarez. So unless it was a money thing, they wanted to get some big wages off of their pay packet, that's understandable. But for anything else, it does seem a little bit strange. Still with Barcelona, they're interested in getting a right back. Now we've spoken about this. They want Serginio Des, as do Bayern Munich, but both clubs are looking at Max Ahrens of Norwich City. At this point in time, it looks like AC Milan or Roma are in the driving seat to secure his services, but Norwich aren't gonna let him go on the cheap. So there's still a battle there. AC Milan and Roma, as we said, they're the favorites, but it doesn't look like Max Ahrens will be a Norwich City player by the end of this transfer window. Sticking on AC Milan, they've expressed their interest in signing Jens Peter Hauger. I've probably got that name completely wrong, but this is the 20-year-old Norwegian winger that Braut Halland of Dortmund has endorsed massively and said, you guys need to sign him. It looks like AC Milan are in the driving seat, but we've also heard that Leeds are in for him, Leeds United, so they could end up signing the player. He looks like a very, very bright prospect for the future. Keep an eye on him and see how he develops. If he's anything like Halland, speaks for itself really. So sticking with Borussia Dortmund, some of you may have seen that we put a post up about the new fitness coach that they hired. So her name's Alika Schmidt. She's a German athlete. She's a 400 meter relay runner, tipped for massive, massive things. She's very young, but she's super fast. The story doing the rounds at the moment is that Alika did a training session with Dortmund and she absolutely blitzed Mats Hommels in a race. So I don't know if that's true. I can't confirm it or not, but she's taken over some training sessions. You guys should go and check her out. She's definitely one to watch for the future. She was tipped for massive success at Tokyo 2020, but we all know that that's now been delayed until at least next year. And the final thing to mention on Dortmund, which isn't great news, 
is they lost 2-0 today to Augsburg in Germany. Augsburg, not the biggest team. I'm sure many of you probably wouldn't even know that they were in the Bundesliga. They lost 2-0 to them. If you look at the stats, it was really not the way you thought the game would have gone. Dortmund had more of everything. I think Augsburg had 20% possession and only had two shots on target. So they literally converted the two shots that they had. But it doesn't look good when you've got players in your team like Jadon Sancho, who's commanding 120 million euro price tag, as Dortmund have put on him, Haaland, Bellingham, all of these young, talented players that are coming through, and then you're losing 2-0. Now, it does happen, so I'm not trying to slate them too much, but seems a little bit weird. And that wraps up the news for today. So, hope everyone keeps well. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.